Hey everybody, it's W. Mark Watson. I want to say a great thank you for coming and hanging out with me for another episode of the podcast today. And you know how I like to do it, like to get right into things. And this is a feel good Friday episode. So we're going to keep it a little bit light and hopefully give you something to kickstart. Uh, if not your Friday, kickstart your next Monday or really every day, but definitely your Monday through Friday. What am I talking about? I'm talking about the all important setting a goal for the day or setting a plan for the day, more importantly. And that is super important. And just to be honest with you, full disclosure, it's something that I've been working on more so the last couple of years. And it's because one of my mentors basically told me, uh, he asked me one day, he said, well, what are your plans for your life? What's your plan for your day? What's your plan for your week? You know, what's your plan for the quarter? What's your plan for the year? And I honestly had to look at him and, and I didn't really have a solid plan and definitely didn't have one that made sense. I mean, I had some ideas. I had some thoughts. Um, none of those things were really or some of them were on paper, but they weren't set to timetables. And it, it was a shambles. And and that's the point he was wanting me to see. He wanted to make that point, drive that point home with me that how can you or, or what are you doing and what are you going to receive? What is your life going to be like if you don't even have a plan? If you don't have even an idea how you want it to work and and you don't have any idea of how you're going to achieve it, really. All you got right now are wishes and hopes and you can't live successfully on wishes and hopes. So I've taken that to heart and I've really started to and I really started then to figure out what it was I wanted and started to make some plans and, and decide what was most important, et cetera, et cetera. But the key thing is, as I'm looking at this, you know, when I do did research for this particular episode, uh, one thing that caught my mind was a tip on seven things that highly, highly successful people do every single day. So I'm doing more and more research on those types of things. And that one thing stuck out in my mind was set goals for the day. Have a plan for your day. Well, why is that important? Because oftentimes we have an idea and we know that things need to be need to get done. We know that there are certain things that we have to work on. We know there are certain issues that we have to work to resolve. However, the challenge is or what's important about knowing those things in advance is they're not going to get better. They're not going to be resolved. It's going to be hard to move forward on those things if you don't plan, if you don't schedule it, if you don't make a point of really thinking about how you want your day to lay out. Now, of course, there's going to be times when your day doesn't unfold the way that you want it to unfold. And that's standard for everybody. It ha happens to everyone. It happens to me quite frequently. However, when I have that solid plan, I now can get back on track whenever something like that happens, whenever I get a distraction or an interruption. The other th great thing about having a plan is when, when you do take that step in your plan, when you do have an intention for your day and and you don't get the results you want after you followed your plan. Now you can look back and see exactly what you did. You have a roadmap. You know what you were thinking and you know what your intention was. And if it doesn't turn out the way you wanted it, now you can go back and look at that and see, OK, where might I have been thinking incorrectly? Where might the plan have gone wrong? Maybe I should have thought about this. Maybe I should have thought about that. And so now when you make your new plan, you can incorporate the changes and see if you can get better results. So the real key is and and on top of all of that, and I want to make sure I, I drive this point home with you today is once I started having a solid plan for my day, then things started to get accomplished well, accomplished faster and accomplished more consistently. And I started making progress on my goals. I got my business started. I really started to give to the charities or the foundations or the causes that I really cared about. I really have devoted myself and really focused on making sure I, I commit plenty of time to helping my son 
uh, in school and, and supporting him along those lines with any and everything that he needs so that I'm really involved in, in that day-to-day and week-to-week process of his educational development. So it really has helped me focus in on those three or four core things that I really care about. And I spoke a little bit about that in yesterday's episode, but I, I really know now without a shadow of a doubt, the top four, five things in my life that I want to focus on, that I want movement in, that I want success in, and that I want to share with my world. And that's it. That's what I focus on. So every single day I have a plan for a tech for either one of those places that I'm working on or the multiple of those items that I'm working on in that on that day. You know, so I make sure I I give time to my business. I make sure I give time to my son. As a matter of fact, I just got off the phone with my son going over schoolwork and going over plans for, you know, he's about to transition from football to basketball and making sure everything in his world is fine. And if there's anything he needs to talk about. So I do multiples of those things every day, but I have a plan and I stick to that plan even when I get off track. I go back to my plan and my thoughts and my ideas and everything starts to make sense because we have to take after divorce. We have to bring that chaos. We have to move that K from that chaos into a consistent commitment toward the success and the life that we deserve and that we really want. And the one thing that will help get you on track is to start planning every day. Even if you can't have an intricate plan, Have a plan for your morning. So let's say you struggle with having a plan for the complete day. I get it. That's cool. No worries. Start where you can and do what you can. So start planning your morning. Okay, what time are you going to get up? What are you going to do when you get up until the point that you leave your house and or get to work or get to get the kids to school or whatever your next morning gig is? Plan that and get used to planning that. Get comfortable with that. And then extend it into the morning. And then once you've gotten into, I mean, to the afternoon. And once you get to the afternoon, work on extending that into the day and into the evening. So start planning your day. Benjamin Franklin said, you, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. So don't plan to fail, all right? Plan to be a success. So it's all I got for you today. If anything in this episode serves you, listen to it more than one time. Share it with someone else you think it might help. Check out some of the old episodes. Definitely stay tuned because I got a lot of great stuff coming up for you. And uh, rate the podcast, subscribe so that we can get more and more people involved in this community that we're building here. We're doing something really great here and I want to share it with as many people as possible. So till we talk again, do the very best you can for yourself and for your family Continue to move on toward your own personal post-divorce paradise because you deserve it. And I can guarantee that and you'll have it. So I look forward to talking with you again on the flip side. Until then, take care, everybody. And I'll talk with you soon. Bye now.